Hey, hey, how's it going? My name is back once again this time with Shining Song Star Nova. Shining Sang Star Nova, and yes, we're checking out just a little bit of the beginning to give you a preview of the game. And I'm showing you part of the Steam demo. I was sent a free copy as a disclaimer, but we're not allowed to record past the demo end, so I decided to just, you know, be on the safe side and show just the demo part only anyway. So this is actually out now on the 25th. July is currently the 28th. And, um, yeah, it's, you can buy it on GOG, Dempersoft, Manga Gamer, Just USA, and Nataku. And, you know, I'm believing the Steam release is kind of delayed. Developer said, We've now been updated by Valve in regards to Shining Song Starnover. The summary is that they are working on new features to give people more control of the content they see, and SSS has been identified as needing these features in place before it can go live on Steam. Unfortunately, we've not been able to get a timeline on this, but we'll continue to keep you all informed once we have new information, as well as any other decisions we make in the meantime. And my other friend put, Thanks for blazing the trail, Kevin! No, anyway, right, sorry, let's go. So this is Shining Song Starnova. Everything you need to know, just click show more below, I'll give you everything you need to know. Just click show more below, I'll give you everything you need to know. And we're gonna go and check out the beginning. This idol. Click this menu, okay, we got that. A vast sea of neon glow sticks continued on to infinity. Attendees filled the performance hall. Legions of otaku dressed in bright pink robes adorned with chain mails of pink buttons of their chosen idols stood at the front row, anticipating the coming moments of rapture. Idol! The words originally referred to sculptures made of precious metals. Oh, word. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, 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 it's just the music. It carried me away. In more recent times, new religion has usurped the old gods. A religion which erected its chapels of decadence in the holy land of Akihabara and levied tithe, eagerly paid by men desperate to believe that a better place existed than this at once. The stage lights turned on. Enormous speakers boomed the new gospel as young girls clad in black and navy skirts and tops rang onto the stage. Are you ready? We proudly present the icon of Japanese entertainment! Black of the night! The mega unit in the centre of the galaxy! All the stars revolve around us! We are Quasar! The crowd roared in a wild frenzy as their goddesses descended from the heavens. <laughs> mm. Rune men! wept in shame, knowing that they had come down. They, without taint, had come down to cleanse this sinful, dirty, unworthy mass of humanity with their radiance. Cleanse us! The men raised their glow sticks on high, prepared to close their eyes eternal and rise to skyward for salvation. The era in which men prostrated themselves, not before cows of gold, but below the heels of girls singing shining songs had begun. <laughs> The woman shook her head as Quasar's New Year's Live played on the television set above her. She downed a shot of cold sake. Qua Woman, a term alien to these kind of stories. In most cases, one was a girl, or at least had the word young prefixed to the word woman. Woman was a poor word for marketability evoking the sort of plain Jane peach coloured underwear one would find on the discount rack at the supermarket. Maybe one time you accidentally walked into your mum changing and glimpsed his head underwears. In other words, completely unexciting. Girl, on the other hand, turned men's eyeballs with the proper intonation that single words could fill a man's gut with both excitement and unease. Restlessness and desire. How skittish men turned up that singular word in all of its suggestiveness. Okay, everywhere the mythos of girl saturate the lives of men. She looked down from billboards on top of buildings, spoke to them through speakers, teased them through letters in a magazine. 
Heh, used to be a member of Quasar myself, or they sacked me. <laughs> Shit eaters call me old. They don't know a thing about me. Goddamn hypocrites. Pretend to be all pure and innocent, but I know what they're really like. And it ain't anything like what you see on the TV. She went on drunkenly mostly to herself. I can still do it. She just watch me, old man, I'm gonna do it. Maria pounded the bar, her head swaying. I'm gonna be an You're being loud, woman. <laughs> you had enough, now get back home. <laughs> I don't know why the bar man was a freaking pirate for Arrami matey. <laughs> Okay, the sliding door slammed shut behind Maria as the barman tossed her out into the winter street. Ah, she bent down and lit a cigarette. Sugar? Is, is that shit he says? Is that just sugar? 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 Okay. She slumped back home, cigarette dangling from her mouth. So we're off on 25. Oh god. <laughs> <sighs> Not fresh anymore. We want a fresh face. Fucking kids flooding the market's pair. Suddenly, bad memories hit her all at once. Standing in a line with girls half her age begging for another chance. She could see the looks of the other girls. They were laughing at her. The executives were probably laughing at her too. Everyone must have thought she had gone fucking mad. Her stomach turned with humiliation and rage. So guy wait no that's not that's not shit, that's something else. She kicked the telephone pole. So can I yo So can I yo Fine, go ahead and debut ahead of me, huh? Hoof 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 Shit face kids who have no clue what's ahead of them. Heh <laughs> Sorry, can't be a dream of coming to Japan's top eye link and a pass. Just wait till you're sucking off your producer every night in chain smoking just to stay afloat. Jesus Heh <laughs> Where's your dreams gonna be down, kid? Maria continued to rant against the imaginary girl she saw in the tome. However, a bizarre sight interrupted her one woman in a rage against reality. She saw a small figure step above the railing of a nearby bridge. Hey, hey is that? Hey! The chilly winter breeze ruffled the girl's hair as she gazed down at the riverbank. <laughs> She had no idea what she was doing or how she'd gotten there. Sasami. I wonder if I should just jump. Do it! No, god damn it. That was the Dragius coming out in me then. <laughs> what a strange thought. I wonder why I'm thinking this. And yet, I'm here, standing on the railing. I wonder if this means I should just give up after all. The girl's thoughts were interrupted by Maria's voice. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Maria was close. She could see the girl look like her high schooler. Just why was this kid going to throw away her life? Y you're still young. There's no way to throw your life away this soon. Eh. The girl spun around to face Maria. Little shit, she got a cute face too and she's gonna give it up. Get down here now. No, I... The girl's eyes widened as she shook her hands in a panic. There's no need. Eh. Maria lapped forward just as the girl lost her balance on the ice and railing and fell backwards. Back then, I might have been a girl who believed in fate, but after a certain point I decided that life doesn't follow such a fairy tale format. Life doesn't have a moral at the end of the story and both good and bad things happen for no reason. In the end, we just imagine connections between a series of random, unconnected events that give their lives meaning. Yes, absolutely. So I won't say it was fate, it was merely a chance encounter which began the story of seven broken idols of Star Nova. A story of love, a story of tears, a secret story of how seven flawed girls were led by a certain producer driven only by his desire to create the greatest idol group of all time. Yes, this is that tale of that producer. This is your story. Yeah, it's just your story, your viewer. It's you, the one watching this video right now. Yes, you, you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Eh? The story of... The YouTube subscriber. Shining Sung. It's Shining Sung. Chapter 1. Death is only a star's rebirth. Eh?
February the 1st, 2017. Well, the world didn't then because we're in 2018 now, right? Er, cold, cold, cold. I woke up to the frigid winter morning. Given my current finances, I couldn't afford to turn on the heat in and I had to sleep wrapped in thick blankets instead. As soon as I told myself from the sanctuary of my warm futon, I was assaulted from every direction by old man winter. I entered the bathroom, trying my best not to faint from both the cold and sleepiness. Eh? An unkempt face with weary eyes stared back as I stood before the mirror. I had been unemployed for the past two months after being fired from my last job. Thanks to my paltry savings, the past few weeks had been losing war against eviction and starvation. However, my luck finally turns round. By chance I encountered my old professor from management school who happened to own a talent agency. Starting today, I was going to be a producer at Shining Productions where I could once again manage a group of idols. That was my dream, to become the producer of Japan's greatest idol group. That was why last year I started working as a manager at Golden Calf Productions, Japan's premier talent agency. Golden Calf? Calf? <laughs> Golden Calf? 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 Fuck. Manufactured girls into stars. Today, the idol of the Golden Calf. R calf? I can't fucking say that word. Jesus. Calf. No. Golden Calf. 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 Oh well. Regularly appeared on national television and consistently filled every concert with attendees. <laughs> Not only that, but Golden Calf is a. As well as the Japanese government, you could call it Japan's number one idol corporation. I thought I was finally a step closer to realizing my dream when I was hired by Golden Calf. Calf? Golden Calf. I can't fucking say it. Jesus. However, that dream was abruptly cut short when I was fired due to a certain incident. Oh no, what have you done? Ever since then, my life has been a nightmare. I shook my head and cleaned myself up with a razor. But now that nightmare was going to end. I was going to grasp this second chance and become an idol juicer once more. Gathering my energy, I shook myself awake and left my apartment. Shibuya! No, I'm just kidding. After a bit of a walk, I arrived at the Shining Production office. I couldn't help but be somewhat taken aback by the crumbling tenement. Frankly, the apartment was largely a dump, with cracking concrete walls and faded windows, half of which were covered up with firewood. Which one is that in the background? They all look pretty nice, just saying. For a while, I was left wondering if I was even at the right location. However, upon closer inspection, a row of faded and peeling stickers spelled out Shining Productions on the second floor window. I swallowed my apprehension and went upstairs, only to be greeted with a cramped office. Hello? I looked around for everyone else. A tiny girl who looked about 14 years put her head out from her own. Eh? What do you want? Is this Shining Productions? I'm the new producer. Oh, good duck? Pro? The girl suddenly scrambled to attention. Jesus. the hell was this sudden 180 personality shift? Oh, I see. No, 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 no. 18 years old. Such a troll. I see. Child holders appeared to a certain very limited subset of the fan base. But no matter what, they had an expiration date after which their fans suddenly lose interest and turn to the next fresh little thing. Sure, they can try to keep up elementary school erect for as long as they want, or all girls will grow up eventually. Hey, don't look at me like I'm some kind of creeper. I'm just laying these things out as they are. Well, I was kind of starting to get creep there, you know? I'm about a bit wacky. I look forward to working with you, Mukai. Okay, yeah. Let's see how long she keep up with the whole I'm just a stupid kid teehee act. The most important thing was not to get caught up in the act yourself. Never forget that these girls are thinking only of themselves. The entertainment industry was and is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. At the end of the day, what matters was getting ahead in the rat race. The whole I'm just a weak little girl you need to protect act was for their own benefits. 
Hey everyone, the new producer found me here. The girl went into a little the break room, where other girls were gathered. A hodgepodge, a hodgepodge. <laughs> me. Before I could see one of the girls retreat back into the room. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. She's supposed to be the alpha of this pack. Oh my na! She stunk of tobacco and booze. She swaggered side to side as if she was drunk. In fact, given her stench, I wouldn't be surprised at all if she was actually was drunk. I don't care if you're some kind of big shot who used to work golden calf. Listen here, little man, I ain't letting you have your way with these girls. I know the way you men think. We're all just walking cash cows to you, to exploit and to use so you can just go swim in your pool of cash. I want you, little man. Don't think your words are going to sway us. Here come. And here you have the textbook example of a burned out idol entering the letter half of her twenties. Basically, this is where the end of the line was. Even the best idols eventually lose their youth, and that's when the fans start turning away. Shit. I hope this is not true at the hidden levels and you know myself. Fuck. <laughs> Body suddenly can't pull off all those dance moves she used to do so well as a teenager. Parts start getting wrinkly and saggy. Oh, hell no. I can assure you I can still dance real good. I fucking can't. I'll have a heart attack. No. <laughs> and so, at their wit's end. They crash down the slope of recreation, drugs, and booze. Maria, you gotta see ya. Shut up, you were there drinking with me too last night. Ah, does this mean my body can't handle as much anymore? Yeah. The blonde girl pushed Maria back into the break room and then returned. Watanabe, Julie. My mum is Japanese, while my dad is American, in case you're wondering about the hair. I'm counting on you, producer. Ah, a hafu. Idols of mixed ancestry tend to excite fans the same way as exotic animals do it. <laughs> oh god. Blondie emancipated a powerful aura about her, as if she expected to be treated like royalty. Just as expected from an idol, huh? After all, American girls had reputations of being more wild. So just let the imagination of the fanbase run wild and they can already conjure up all sorts of unimaginable scenarios in their head about this and that. Sometimes guys get tired of jerk- Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Time out. <laughs> Time out. Time out. Yeah, all the fucking creeps, man. <laughs> you pervert guys. No, I'm just kidding. Right, anyway. Hey, like I said, I'm just laying it out as it is. I'm just doing my job here. I'm not here to make friends out of my co workers. I'm just here to make them commercially successful. Natsuki! Yahoo, nice to meet you, Pikun. Tanavi Natsuki, but everyone calls me Natan. Natan! <laughs> Country girl from Kansai to Tokyo Idol, how you do? Country girl from Kansai is right. So yeah, obviously this is just kind of me and the... Me and all the girls, you know. Oh, okay. She has a heart-shaped antenna on her head. But yeah, anyway, so... Uh... Oh, this one's a fucking crazy-ass one. Fuck yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's just Shining Song starting over. Obviously, he's gonna go into the lines of the exploitation and the entertainment industry of uh, the idol business and, uh, you know, hopefully bring a good end in where everyone just don't do this shit. I don't know. Um, where people stop getting exploited and they just have a happy band and, you know, it's just an old band. Whatever, really. Yeah. Kind of, uh, really creepy to me, but, uh, you know. That's like a different kind of, um... Yahoo! 
Whoa, okay, okay, we're, we're stopping right now. We're stopping right freaking now. They yeah, obviously it's different culture and all that kind of shit, so yeah. That's Shining Song's down over. We're gonna quick save. And it's out. On Gog, Dempisoft, Manga Gamer, Jast, and Nutaku. And will shortly be coming out on Steam once Valve gets through that whole kind of thing they're trying to do of apparently moderating their stir, although really? Really? They try hard over shit like this, but then every day there's acid flips on this, so I don't know, I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully it'll be released on Valve soon, on Steam soon, so yeah. That is me, signing out with my two pens. I go... I leave. Eh? Yes.